welcome to the Joyish Kingdom. In today's video, we'll be doing episode one of responding to comments. This one is a hate comment, so ugh, I'm pumped about it. I'm already excited. I already shot back at them. So if you're excited to get into it, smash like in this video, subscribe to the channel, join the kingdom. If you're not already following me on Twitter, if you're not in my Discord down below in the description, you are only hurting yourself. All the alpha is dropped there. Get your five free socks. Use my Weeble link down below in the description. Helps me out directly. You get free money. It's a crypto and socks trading platform. Appreciate all you guys being in here. As you guys know, the goal of this channel is to instill knowledge and confidence. It's going to take to navigate this metaverse on your own one day. So if that sounds good to you. Let's get into the video. I pinned tweet on one of my last videos about the upcoming potential upcoming NFT winter. And so the title was, what will the NFT winter look like? I used a thumbnail that had just like a chart going down. I'll just post a picture up right now. And the comment was, one day you make a video about NFT bull run, the next NFT is dead. LOL, what the fuck, unsubscribing. <laughs> uh, and my, I'll read my response and then I'll kind of explain in depth what I meant here. So I said, uh, this video is saying what NFT winter will look like not that it's here i literally explained that in the video which you clearly did not watch and then the nft bull market video was not me saying we are in a bull market but rather explaining what to look for in an upcoming bull market so thank you for unsubscribing lol i want people who want to learn to watch my videos not for those who read a title don't watch then leave a dislike and a comment lmao peace sign so the reason i left that comment the reason i even bothered to respond to this hate comment is when I respond to mo almost all comments because it's good for the algorithm. And so Gary okay, V says to read it all. Plus, it's good because I read the good and the bad. I get desensitized to it. I'm desensitized to the good. I'm desensitized to the bad. He's, I mean, I see it, but Gary V says this all the time. He's like, you want to see it, but you don't want to take it in. You don't want to internalize it as a person. You want to take it, obviously, if there's constructive criticism, you want to take that. If there's good, uh, you know, if you did something good, you want to say, okay, good. You know, it helps me in my business sense, but I don't want to ever rely on my own, like personal, how I feel about myself as a human based on good comments and bad comments. I don't want that affect me as much as I can. Obviously I can't. Sometimes I, sometimes a comment will, will get me fired up. Sometimes I'll read a comment and I'll get a big head, but for the most part, I'm pretty much like chill, right? But the reason I made that comment is because this person MT is the epitome of people I don't understand. And the reason I don't understand, the reason these kind of comments frustrate me is because like, he's only hurting himself, you know? Like he didn't watch the video, you know? And here's the problem is he read, he wrote this comment and didn't even bat an eye. It was a knee-jerk reaction. He probably doesn't even remember he wrote it, right? And he didn't watch the video. So he's definitely not gonna remember any of this happened. And I guess the, the problem I have with that is that like, I've always watched content with the goal of trying to get something out of it and learn something from it. It's never been to judge the person that films the video because I've always I've always made YouTube videos. I've always had a, a level of respect for content creators because I've made content. So I understand what it's like to be on the other side. Oh man, I kept not being able to think of the phrase I wanted to use, but it's because I always was rooting on content creators because I just wanted to be a YouTuber. So I've always come with the angle of rooting for them. So I like, I almost like can't understand haters if that makes sense. So I've never like watched a TikTok video, left a hate comment because I don't, I don't know. I've just never really thought to do that. I'm always trying to learn something from it. And so even when I watch people that I, I know are assholes online or like they're these like entrepreneur people who just sell a dream, there's always something I can take from anyone. And that's the way I've always looked at content. Because listen to me when I say this, because this is coming from personal experience. If you let it and if you look for it, content can change your fucking life. Gary Vee's content changed my life. Tom Billy's uh, content changed my life. Logan Paul's content. Joe Rogan, Lex Fridman, all these people I have looked up to at a certain point in my life, their content changed my life because I was looking for it. I was looking for the gold nuggets. I was looking for the trends, the habits, the routines, the mindsets. I was looking for that. And that's the why, that's why I make my content the way I make it. I'm making a video soon about like what it is my whole channel is trying to be, what my goals are, aspirations. And I want you to know that because yes, I make NFT videos, but I am not that superficial. I'm here to change the world through my content. I'm here to change your life, hopefully, through my content. That's my goal, right? And so I hope everyone who watches my channel goes in with that mindset that Cade is trying to change the fucking world. Let me listen to what this motherfucker has to say. Instead of saying, this guy's a fucking idiot. He just says this and that. I'm like, no, dude, my content is very well thought out. All right, I may, I may pretend to be some stupid idiot wearing these sunglasses and being entertaining, but I'm very methodical with everything I fucking do. Everything I do. These kind of comments just piss me off because I'm just like, fam, <sighs> like I have so much to give and you're literally just not, like it's, it's right there in the video. All you have to do is watch it and they're just like not watching and they, they just choose to read the title and look at the fucking thumbnail. I'm like, fam, this is a thumbnail. You need to understand something. If you're watching my channel, 
I am rooted in education. I am rooted in bringing value. However, because I don't make Moon Boy content, I have to still play the game. So at, in some, on some level, I have to play the game. That means thumbnails and that means titles. Because in my video, when you watch it, you'll realize I'm not making Moon Boy shilly content where I say, buy this project. Oh, by the way, I own like 50 of them. I'm going to dump on you immediately. I don't make that kind of content. I do reviews, analysis, reactions. But my goal here is to make entertaining content about NFTs. My goal is not to make you money. That'll be a byproduct. You will make money if you watch me. But I'm here to bring entertainment to NFTs. I'm here to bring the NFT world and make it entertaining. I, I, I change, I, I make everything related to NFTs. That's, that's what I do. You know, I made a video about sex related to NFTs. I made a video about Will Smith. And NFT is called soccer with NFTs. Like I make everything related to NFTs, right? Because you can, you can make, relate everything back to NFTs, marketing, psychology of humans and stuff like that. So there's so much to give here. And, and for him to just be like, you made a video about NFT bull market and then uh, now it's bear market. I'm like, fam, welcome to NFTs, brother. Welcome to NFTs. Welcome to crypto. Welcome to investing in a market that's based on every two weeks an entire new trend happening. Three weeks ago, the story was Board Ape Yacht Club. Now, Azuki is the story. But guess what? Tomorrow, someone else will be the story. And guess what? A bull market might come and come and, and come and go in, in two weeks, and then I might be making all these bearish videos again. Who knows, fam? But the point is, when you don't understand something, and then you leave dumb comments, you just get dumber, bro. And my goal with my YouTube channel is to make you fucking smarter. And like, ah, it just makes me so frustrated, bro. Like, cause I want to help and I'm putting it out there. Like all I can do is put it out and all you can do is watch it and hopefully take something from it and hopefully go in with the mindset of Kate is making this video because he thinks there's something valuable in the content here that I can get from it. So I'm gonna watch it and try and get that out. That's the goal when I make videos. So if you're the person leaving these kind of comments, you're the worst type of human fucking being and I don't want you watching my videos. I would rather, no, I, I want you to watch my videos, but like, <laughs> I want you to watch them with the idea of trying to grow, not to just, I don't know, man. I fucking just, I have no hope for these people. This, this kid's not gonna make it. He's the one buying the top and fumbling the pumps. That's the problem, right? And I, and I wish I could help him because I can't help him or her, whoever it is. But anyways, so that's my that's my response to the comment. This is episode one of responding to comments. They won't all be negative, but they're all gonna have to have something constructive or something about them that I can make a full video on and rant about. So I'm not sure. Let me know if you guys like this style of video. If you did enjoy it, smash the like in this video, subscribe to the channel, join the kingdom. If you're not following me on Twitter, if you're not in my Discord down below in the description, you're only hurting yourself. All the alphas drop there. If you want to get your five free socks, use my Weeble link down below in the description. You get free money. Helps me out directly. It's a crypto and socks trading platform. You're only helping yourself here. If you want to see more of me, I'll click on one of these boxes on the other side of me. Until next time, continue on your joyage. Continue to learn. And be grateful you're alive watching this video. Bye.